This program is brought to you in part by Swift Canoe and Kayak. People who know, paddle swift. And by Eureka, the spirit of adventure. Outdoors, fresh air, sun, water, wind, rain, and snow. A chance to reconnect with nature. In this series, we explore some of the places and activities that you can enjoy in the outdoors and all within a couple of hours of home. So join us as we get outside and recharge our soul. Today, we are down at Duffins Creek in Ajax, Ontario. Are these going to just pop in? I guess so, I'm hoping so. Yeah, well, we'll see. We are going to stand up paddleboard up the creek. Now, I've never done it. It's going to be a lot of fun to learn. This will be my first time on stand-up paddle boards. I've never done stand-up paddle boards before, you have. I have stand-up paddle board before, yeah. I do a lot more backcountry, um, yeah. up north. This is my first time at Duffins Creek, but I'm really looking forward to it. So, am I gonna be able to stay on this thing or am I gonna fall off? I'm not gonna make any promises, <laughs> but they are very, very stable. These, I think these boards are meant for more of a touring yeah. um, kind of activity, so. Um, I think people underestimate how stable stand-up paddle boards are, so I think we'll be great. We're going to head up the river um, as far as we can go, and then we'll come back down here. We're at the shore of the lake, so it's getting a little bit rougher now. We'll see how it is when we get back. We may end up going out on the lake a little bit as well, um, but uh, it should be a nice day. It's so, a beautiful day. All right, let's go. Uh, one more thing we've got to do. We've got two different color paddle boards here. Um, we both like the bluey green one, so... So did everybody on my Instagrams. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets the blue one. Right, yeah. So it'll be like, it'll be one, two, and on three we'll okay. go, okay? So one, two, three. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I win. I get the blue one. You'll match. Okay, let's, let's get going. Do you have to start in the water? Do you have to start in the water? I generally do, yeah. So it's kind of like even with canoeing, kind of centering yourself. A lot of people use the paddle just to kind of get their balance. And then start on your knees. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can feel the current here. Yeah. So I usually start on my knees, and then once I get out a bit and a little bit more comfortable, then I'll kind of come up to my to my to standing position. All right. Ah. Uh. I'm on. You're on. Woohoo! This is a bit tippy. So we can <laughs> so we can paddle out a little bit just to get comfortable on it. Okay. 
Okay. And then we can work our way up to our feet if you want. Sounds good. <laughs> kneeling paddleboard. Well, and that's one of the things that I like about paddleboarding is that you have the option. I love canoeing just like everybody else, but you're kind of locked in one position the entire time. Yeah. So for me, like I like I like paddleboarding because you can go on your knees. You can you can stand. It was very interesting getting on one of these things. It, it looks easy. It looks really really easy. Uh, but when you first get on the board, it's a lot more tippy than you'd think. Even though these are stable boards, it was very tippy for me anyways. Oh. I'm a little bit more comfortable on stand-up paddle boards, so it was easy for me, but it took a little bit for Ben to get comfortable. Holy cow, I don't know if I like these things. <laughs> it took me a while to even stand up and when I did it was you know pretty much just stand there and try and maintain balance and then my knees would get shaky and like jello and I'd have to back down uh, on the board <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be <laughs> yeah I'm gonna try again here we go But why are my knees shaking so much? Uh, most of the time, at least for the first little bit, he stayed on his knees, which um, made him a little bit more confident, gave him a bit more stability, and uh, just uh, got him comfortable on the board. <laughs> so for the first part of the, the trip, I was paddling on my knees up the creek. Come on, I was fine. Now my knee's shaking again. Why are they doing that? It's like shivering. I started stand-up paddle boarding more seriously this summer. Um, I prefer it because I feel like it gives me a little bit more freedom to move around um, on the water. Uh, I've canoed in the past and I like canoeing, but there is, um, for me, freedom in being able to, to get up or to change my position, um, move around um, when I'm on the board. <laughs> we did stop a couple of times uh, along the shore uh, just to, to rest. It's tiring. I mean, I'm on my knees and it's tiring. Yeah. See, when I'm in a canoe, I'm sitting. Yeah. I don't even go on my knees in a canoe because after a while it just, it's too much. Yeah. So even on your knees in this, it's tiring, but... Uh, but it's a great workout. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I underestimate when I first started how much of a full body workout it is. Yeah. Because you're just, you're engaged the entire time. How long have you been doing it now? Pretty much, honestly, just this summer is when I, I really got into it. Yeah. I had, I had paddle boarded in Tofino and I had paddle boarded um, in Collingwood, um, just like day paddles, but nothing. I, had, I wasn't invested in it, um, yeah. but this is the first year I bought my own board and, nice. and really started to kind of explore um, some new places and I've never been here, so cool. I can now check Duffins Creek off my list of places to try, <laughs> but yeah. 
And you wanted, you said you eventually wanted to do backcountry camping on, on one of these. Yeah. Um, well, for me, like, I live in the city, so buying a canoe and storing a canoe for me was restricting. So I invested in a an inflatable that is meant for that kind of yeah. expedition kind of um, activity. So, so that's my hope. I, I mean, this. So would you? Put the packs on the board, or would you wear the pack? Your okay. all, all your gear, you'd leave it on all the deck. Gear is on, would be on the board. Yeah. I think that that'll be like a, my, one of my next learning curves is knowing how to balance. Yeah. The weight. Yeah. Um, and getting out. So hopefully over Thanksgiving is when I'll try my first backcountry, and it'll be a short day, uh, just an overnight. But, nice. But end goal would be to do um, multi-day kind of treks. Um, yeah. It's all usually on flat water. You generally don't take this thing out onto a uh, wavy, do you? Um, well, these boards aren't meant for like a surfing style. Yeah. I, think that, I mean, they. I haven't tested it out on that. Or I even on, even on a lake that's that's got you know if there's wind and the waves yeah. are coming up. I wouldn't personally like take how, it out on like. How how much how much of like yeah that. how much of a <laughs> calm do you need? So far right now, I've been doing pretty calm. Well, this yeah. Very simple. Oh, this is nice and calm. I mean, yeah. it's, it's great. I know that they, they can handle it, and I think it comes with experience, too. Um, more experienced paddles would be able to maneuver that kind of... Um, it's no different than a canoe, like rapids, those different yeah, yeah, yeah. terrains. You have to have the skills. You have to have the knowledge. I don't think it, an uneducated or unexperienced person should be doing that, but... Um, <laughs> me included, I'm not there yet, but... I haven't but. been able to properly stand <laughs> up yet. So. <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit, a little bit from there, but you'll oh, get there. You it's, to. it's mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. I as soon as I get up, my knees start shaking, yeah. and I'm like, uh, I don't dare move. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it could be a mind thing too. I mean, you are used to canoes, right? So that's a much more passive yeah, yes. experience. And, <laughs> um, I think it, they're probably um, challenges on both sides of that. Yeah. This is, it is a very different experience. <laughs> well, we still got a good part of the day left, so I'm still hoping gonna I'm going to get to not just stand Holy. up for a couple of paddles, <laughs> actually get to, this is a beautiful place to paddle, whether it's in a canoe or on a stand-up paddleboard. By the time we turned around and headed back down, it was no problem. For the most part, I was able to easily uh, paddle on my feet. And it does take a little bit to get confidence standing up, but bang, we got him there. And uh, for the majority of the paddle back, he was up on two feet and uh, taking his time, but enjoying it. Last thing we did was head out onto the lake. Uh, the lake's quite a bit more rough than the creek. I mean, it's not rough for, for Lake Ontario, but it's a lot rougher than the creek. So it was very interesting trying to maintain balance when you're on the board on a lake with waves bouncing you around. But overall, I had a great time. It was good. I'd try it again, I think. I think I still prefer the canoe. That's my preferred method of uh, water transportation. But it was a lot of fun. It was really, really good. It is harder than it looks, but it's also something that you can, you can do um, once you kind of get your bearings. It's, it's a great way to get outside. Mm -hmm.